Hey y'all, it's your girl Destiny and I'm back with another hygiene video. If y'all new to my channel, then hey. If y'all back for another video, then hey to y'all too. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. And as y'all can see by the title, it's my three most embarrassing moments of my life. Well, not the most, but three embarrassing moments that's happened to me. So if y'all want to watch the video, make sure y'all stay tuned. And let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so the first story I want to tell you was about was when I um first embarrassing moment was when I was about maybe six, I might have been six or five. Well, my mother is a nurse, so I don't know, but like in North Carolina or where I live at, the city where I live at, we have this thing called Relay for Life. And Relay for Life is um something they have for everyone who like beat cancer or anyone who has died with cancer, anyone who is still, you know in the process with cancer so they have like this big thing at my high school and we walk around the track you know for people who have cancer and then you have like different concessions and stuff so a while back my mama by her being a nurse like i think every other relay for life she would have to um you know go there you know show her support and she would they would have a booth <laughs> i ain't said it i would have to bleep that out but her hospital would have like uh, um, her hospital would have a tent and like different stuff you could purchase about it. Or I think it might have been, I can't really remember, but most likely it might have been like different pamphlets about cancer or how to find out if you have it, symptoms or whatever like that. So, mind you, by my mom being with her team, like from her hospital, she, you know, she let me go because for some reason I just like to go to have fun with it. I had friends that was there. So, um, my mom was like, okay, Destiny, you know, you go with me. So, we was all up under the tent, and the uh, group that she was in, all of them had the exact same shirts. Now, my mama, she's not as dark as me. She's a little, she's lighter than me. So, she pretty has, like, fair skin or whatever. And so, it was up lady, and I, the lady might have been Indian, because my mama could go for Indian, because she's, like, really on the light side. So, I, um, like, I used to always, like, I always been the type of person I like to like hug on my parents and rub on them or like rub on their arms, whatever. So I'm the type of person that like to do that. And I had walked up to the lady thinking it was my mama. I had went up there and walked to her and I was like, I love you. And I was like rubbing her. I was rubbing her back. I had went to her arms and just like rub it out on the lady's skin. And come to find out the lady was like, hey honey, where's your mother? And I was just like... <laughs> I was like, that's how embarrassing the moment was because I was so young. I don't know how I still remember that, but I remember that. And I was just like, oh my God. And so I ran, I ran. So mom was just like, mom, I thought this lady was you. And I was all on and I was just so sorry. And it was like, and the lady was like, sweetie, you're fine. You're fine. And I was just still embarrassed. I can't believe I was all on this lady that I did not even know. Mind you, I didn't know, but a couple of friends from my mama job, but I did not know that at all. And I'm just like, so I'm all in this light and I don't even know her. Now, the second, the second embarrassing moment, this was recently. So, if y'all do not know, um, I dislocated my knee back in December, the day after Christmas, I dislocated my knee. If y'all want to hear story time, make sure you um get this video to 20 likes. And make sure y'all comment down below if y'all want to see a story time for that. But anyway, I had dislocated my knee. And we was out on vacation. So, of course, you know, you know, you got out of uh, school for Christmas. And then, you know, you had that week for, um, hold on. Um, you had that week for, like, um, you know, you had that week because you still got New Year's. So, New Year's came around. And I think that next week we was going to make the school. So, I went ahead and went to school, and I was just like, my, what was in my head was, I do not want to fall, because they had put me on crutches. So, I was like, I do not want to fall, and I had been using the crutches at home, because I just been sitting there resting, you know, trying to get my knee a breath, and take a breath, not doing too much. And I haven't been going in the stores, and if I went to the stores, I would get, like, 
one of them handicap accessible chairs and I would just push around the store. You know, the electric ones, I would just push around the store. So I haven't been using my crutches except for when I went to the doctor to get my knee checked up. So, um, so what was going on in my mind was like, okay, the first day I come back, I did not want it to be raining. I said it because I did not want to sleep because by me not even messing up my knee, I have almost failed at Scotland. Oh, at the school. I can't say where I'm from, Lord and mercy. But I ended up falling from school. I was like, I did not want to do that. And another thing, I just did not want to fall or like lose balance on my crutches. So I was like, oh, so... Everything going smoothly. Everybody at school asked me what happened. I'm just keep saying the same thing over, over, over. If y'all know where I'm from, when you hurt some or you ain't been at school, where they always ask you what's going on, I'm just like, dang, leave me alone. So that morning, I had my friend come pick me up. Not come pick me up, but like come get me from the front of the school. And so we walking over there, you know, to the cafeteria because that's what we did before the bell room. So, um, I went to my first period, didn't nothing happen. Second period, didn't nothing happen. Now, after my second period, it's like, when I second period ring, either the first bill, you can go ahead and go to A lunch. If you don't have A lunch, you go straight to your class, and then it's like B and C lunch. So, that particular day, right when that bell run for everybody to go to A lunch. So, I'm trying to hurry up, because they give me five minutes to get... Five minutes before the bell rang to go ahead and start making the class. But I didn't want to walk by myself. So I was, this girl was just like, she'll walk me or whatever. So we ended up leaving like three or two minutes before class, before the bell rang. So um, so we started walking over there. And that's when I started hearing um the fire drill thing. And I don't even know how they be there. I've been out of school for two months. I don't even know how they be sounding. But it was just like, just like. <laughs> I'm like, I constantly think about what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Because I have all these crushes, and if I take the crushes off, I'm still not able to like hurry up. So all I see is like everybody clear it out. I could try to contact my friend. She was going out through like the cafeteria way. But I, the where I was at, it was by the cast here, but she had already went in the door. And when she asked, could she come get me? They was like, no, you need to get out of there because you know it's fire or whatever. So I'm like hopping on my crutches, hopping on my crutches, hopping on my crutches. So it's like this red you go down, and then it's like these, it's another red you go up, and then it's this side door. So I'm trying to get to my, by where my class is, and then I'm going to exit at that door right there because at my school, it's like if you in one building, that whole building gonna go to this one field. If you want another bill, that whole building gonna go to the other field. So, anyway, so I end up seeing, I think I seen my assistant prince, but I know for definitely I seen my, yeah, I seen my assistant prince. It wasn't my principal principal, but I seen my assistant principal, and he was like, come on, sweetie. You know, you gotta get, <laughs> you gotta get to the thing. You gotta get out, like, the, Cause we have like a comments area and our comments area is like big and then it's another area and it's like where the lunch is at was nobody where I was at. It was just me and him and he was the one going around checking the school. So I was the only student like that was on the premises. Everybody else was like outside of premises. So I'm like, oh my God. So I'm hopping, hopping, hopping. So I knew it was like these two double doors and I knew once I got in two double doors, it was like a whole, everybody was out. <laughs> everybody was out there. And I do what I want to do. Doors, everybody gonna see I was on crutches. They ain't see me on crutches. And I was like, I don't want to go there. So I had went ahead and called somebody. I was like, somebody, where you at? And she was like, oh, I'm up here by the cafeteria. So I walked. So I was just like, you know what? Well, first I was sitting at the door and it was a couple of teachers talking. So I was like, hopefully they don't see me. And then when the bell rang, I could just go ahead and hop my way back to class. But then it was like, hey, sweetie. And they opened the door. So I had to go through the door. And it was just like, all oh, these students standing in front of me so i walk through and i'm leaving now mind you ain't nobody see me everybody like to pick up me about my knee popping out so like i was like really embarrassed so when i came in i was just so freaking embarrassed and you know how you be like really embarrassed where you just be holding your head down so i was just holding my head down and so that's when 
my two of my friends had walked up and they was like, hey, Destiny. And I was just like, hey, I'm just like, I'm so glad y'all are here. I was like, I'm so embarrassed. I was like, I did not want to come back here. And I was like, I was the only one still in the school. And I was just like, that was just such an embarrassment to me. And, um, y'all, like, to this day, it was just so embarrassing to me. And I was just like, I wouldn't have cried. That's how embarrassed I was. Because it was just like, it, it was at least 150 kids out there. Because it was just so many kids. Because like I said, from different buildings you would go. But you got to think, it's like, it's so many kids on a lunch, on that lunch. So all them kids on that lunch, plus a couple of students, plus a couple of classes that was in there. Every class got like 20 students. So it was just like so many people. And I was just so freaking embarrassed. Now, um, I don't know. I might tell four stories. I think I'm on my third one here. Yeah. Now my third story um is embarrassing. Um, so my ninth grade year, I had started color guard team. We had all knew we had made the team or whatever, and it was these girls. And so one day, these girls that was like, my thing not saying they did anything wrong, but one day my brother, my daddy was like, Males, can you go to um? Oh, sorry. Somebody texted me. But my, was, my daddy was like, Mel's, my, which is my brother, can you go to uh, McDonald's and get me some or so? So, my was just like, no. He was like, all right. So, then he was like, Destiny, ride with me. Can you go in and get it? But he didn't tell me that. He was just like, Destiny, come ride with me. So, everybody know them shoes that you get at the house with to go put on when your mom be like, like, come out here and get the groceries. I had them shoes on, and the shoes, you know, being my daddy's shoes. And my feet is like this compared to my daddy's. So, you know, I'm in the car, riding, vibing. So, then we pull it in me. Down, I see my brother's car, and I'm looking like, what you doing? I thought you, I said, oh, you must be going in. I said, I thought you were going to the job through. And he was like, nah, can you go in there with me? He was like, nah, can you go in there and do it for me? And I was like, no. I was like, I'm not in type of no shape or form. Mind you, I had my bonnet on. I had some hoochie shorts on. I had a shirt. I had like a, a just a shirt I'd be sleeping in. And I had them big old sandals on. So I'm looking like, you really going to see me in here? And I already knew. So like... <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, my son keep popping up on my phone. But like where I live, I, it might be where y'all live at too. But it be a whole bunch of boys at McDonald's at this certain time. So I'm like, I don't want to go in there. So I end up going with the boys will in there, but the people from my color guard was already in there. And by me being a nice girl, I already be nervous. I'm just a nervous and shy person until you get to know me. So by them already being there, I'm just like, oh my god. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to say his name, but I was just like, oh my gosh, like, they was in there, and so I was so embarrassed because they were seniors that year, and I was a ninth grader, and I was just like, they're not going to look at me the same, I'm really in here with some hoochie mama shorts on, a shirt, and then I had some big old sandals on, and I went in there, and then right when I got my food, a group of boys walked in, and y'all know, I know all girls been through this. You see a group of boys, you just not about to walk up and look them shred in their face. You gonna hold your you gonna hold your head there and like you on your phone. Don't lie to me and tell me you ain't never did that before. So I'm like, oh my god. So I hear McDonald's. And I'm just like, God, thank you. They probably didn't even see me, but I was so freaking best. And I couldn't walk that fast because the shoes were so big. And y'all, that was one of the embarrassing moments to me. Cause I'm looking like my brother really in here, sent me in here, and got me in here looking a fool in front of these people I just met. You know, you want to leave people a first impression. They like, this girl is ghetto, which I'm not. They, I know it was like this girl is ghetto coming in here looking like this. Now, <clears throat> for my fourth embarrassment moment was um I gotta put some gasoline on. But, um, so, um, every year, my church that I got to, they pick every summer, a day out of the summer, or two days, or how many every days they want to do, but it usually be like a day or two. 
every summer to go on this um to go on this trip. No, I don't even think it was a summer trip. I think it was the camp that I was in. It was a summer trip, but it was a camp that I was in. The lady took us skating. So we all went we all had got there. She gave us our tickets and we were able to go skating. So there's this little girl there. And I don't even know the little girl, but I'm like, you know, a caring and helpful person. So everybody was laughing because I didn't know how to skate. So we got in there or whatever and um we were skating or whatever. We were skating. And it was this little girl and she okay, so like you know how at the skating ring they had like that little dip. So you either go off the dip and you go into like the uh carpet or you go up on the dip and then you have like that wood floor that everybody skate on. And I was like, hey. I was like, ooh. Y'all know how you get that buzz or something in your mouth. But I was like, hey, you know, do you need any help? You know, get up there. So when I was like on the edge of where that little dip was, so I was like, hey, do you need any help? So I went to go grab her and pull her up. And by the time I got her up and she was steady, somehow my wheel said, Roar, and I said, boom. I said, boom. The back of my butt. When I tell you that joker hurt and everybody was over there. And I was just sitting there. You know how you fall, but you cannot get up. That's what happened. And I was just like, what the world? So I fell and I was just like in shock. So I tried to like laugh it off. So then I ended up getting up and everybody just laughed at me. You know what I did? Took them took them skates off and went ahead and checked them right on now. And I ain't scared for the rest of the day. My butt was still hurt when I got home. That's how bad it hurt. And it was just so embarrassing. Because you know how many people. And that day somehow it was just like a really busy day for, for the skating ring people. And um, yeah, I had feeling from all them people. Girl, I mean, y'all, whoever watching, I ain't mean to a girl, because, you know, it might be some boys watching. But, y'all, that was embarrassing me. I'm just going to do five, five stories. Now, my fifth story was when I was in the seventh grade. Um, so, it was me and my friend. We call her KG. I ain't going to say her real name. We call her KG. So, me, well, we didn't call her KG at the time, but they call her that now. So, me and KG used to like to go to the bathroom every time we got into my seventh period. So, we would like go in the bathroom, go see some teachers we liked, and then we would end up coming back. And so, Miss Green would never say nothing. Yeah, was my teacher name. So, this particular time, I had got in this altercation. No, this was not seventh grade. This was my ninth grade year when this embarrassing story happened. But this girl that I did not like, we had an altercation in seventh grade. And we was not cool because, you know, that was only two years after what had happened. If y'all want to hear that story time, make sure y'all comment down below. But let's go ahead and get to the story. So she was in there and I did not like her. But y'all know them rainbow shoes. It's like brown and then they have the braided straps. It's like dog sandals. And then they have like this crescent in the middle. If y'all know what they look like, it's going to be somewhere right here. But they call rainbows. So I had just got me some fresh little rainbows. And I had, I remember because I had some jeans on. On my, um, I had some jeans on that day. And they had like holes in them. So they had holes at like my kneecaps and up here on my thighs. And I had like rolled them up at the bottom because I'm short. But anyway, so me and KG go to the bathroom. So KG behind me and I'm going into the bathroom. So somehow my rainbow got stuck onto like under this hump. Like they didn't fix around or something and it got stuck under there. So when I'm going to go make my next step and lift my foot up, my thing was stuck and it was just like boom. The whole bathroom was filled with girls. And mind you, me and Kate, you used to go before the bell ring. So everybody at Scotland, all, everybody know the teachers at Scotland be like, y'all better go to the bathroom now. Y'all cannot go. So go to the bathroom before you, the class even start. So me and KG go ahead and go. So we walk in, like I said, went in the bathroom and bam, busted my, I went down. And when I went in there, I got up and I was just laughing. And the girl was in there laughing like, baby, what's funny? Cause you know, I don't like you, but I just brushed it off. So I went ahead and went to the bathroom and came out. This whole time I'm in the bathroom, you know, I ain't know nothing was going on with me. So then I got into the class and I kept feeling like stinking, stinking, stinking. And I'm looking like, what is this stinging on my knee? Y'all had busted my knee wide open. Blood was all on my kneecap. I don't know how I ain't see that. But y'all, that was so embarrassing because that place was, I mean, that bathroom was filled with girls. And I had just felt, and I felt right when I got in there. 
and it was like boom and I fell face forward and I was just like and so like, I just busted laughing trying to hide the fact that my knee would really hurt my knee would hurt but I didn't think it had busted so I'm guessing it had like busted on some nails or whatever but that is all my embarrassment stories if y'all want a part two make sure you like comment and subscribe bye